so I picked the white eyes to be honest but the black slate looks amazing as well cherry silent black I think that's down here for sure today I want to talk about mechanical keyboards and to be more precise I want to test different switches before I buy a mechanical keyboard for myself because I've been looking around for months now about which keyboard to get, which switches to buy, which keyboards to buy and which um, keycaps to buy even and I've become somewhat of a mechanical keyboard nerd you could almost say it's a fun little hobby to have and I couldn't really figure out what the difference is exactly, right? Is it tactile? Is it clicky? Is it this? Is it that? Should I take a Cherry one? Should I take Gatron? Should I take Kale? Should I take other brands? And it was really hard for me to figure it out. So I thought, hey, let's try a tester. And I bought the big one from kbdfans.com. If you know anything about mechanical keyboards, you probably know this brand as well and this web shop. And um, it took a while to arrive and it cost like $70. And then I had to pay customs fees because it got stuck in customs. So I had to pay another $30 or so. So right now this keyboard tester is actually almost more expensive than an actual keyboard. keyboard but it's not that good uh, with brown switches and for me they're a bit too loud brown ones are pretty good for um, typing and for gaming it's kind of a good hybrid I think the red ones are typically chosen for gaming because they're pretty quick then there is black ones brown ones red ones green ones almost every color you could think of and um, yeah they have different properties and because it's so difficult to decide I bought a switch tester in here. These are all the different switches. switches and this thing is a key cap remover if I put the wrong one in so yeah
Hey, I just wanted to go on a small tangent and kind of go into which keyboard I'm really interested in getting for myself because I've been looking around quite a bit and I wanted to share with you my preliminary results. So in general, I look at KBD fans because they're kind of like the go-to side for purchasing stuff. There's many other sites, of course. And just as a short introduction, um, you might have noticed that a lot of the keyboards are smaller. They don't have the numpads. They only have 60% size, as they're called, or 75%. So I would really recommend considering this at least because you don't need a really big keyboard. I think it's a waste of space and it's just useless. And for beginners, you can buy a fully assembled one. This one is actually a great choice. It's only around $150 and it comes in a tofu case, which alone can cost $80 or more. And you don't have to worry about anything. But then again, you can buy everything individually. If you're a real nerd, you want to maybe get a DIY kit or even get the individual components and build them together yourself. Uh, you might have to do some soldiering. You have to buy the PPT plate. You have to buy the case. You have to buy these um, switch holders. You have to buy the switches. You have to lube everything even. So it's pretty tedious, but if you're enjoying this stuff, go try it out. It's not, it's not a rocket science, let's just say. The switches are actually the things under the keycaps. And um, depending on what kind of switch you have, it's going to be harder to push down. It's going to be easier to push down. It's going to make a noise or not a noise. And so some people prefer a really light pressure. Some people prefer a harder pressure. Some people like this click sound. But if you're in an office, obviously, you don't, you don't want to have this really loud click sound. So um, I think maybe my video is going to help you decide which switches are best for you. And then also I think what's really interesting is looking at keycaps. Um, you can buy them individually, you can buy the full sets, and sometimes you have to make group buys, so you have to pull together, you have to pay in advance, and then in half a year you only get your keyboard. So people are pretty crazy about this stuff. And um, just to look around what keycaps are, are like right now, I think those ones are beautiful, like they're pretty minimalistic, and there's like small... I think Japanese or Korean signs on them. I think those ones are cool. Uh, you can also buy individual ones, but as you can see, they can really go up to $30 or more. Uh, yeah, these ones are all pretty cool, but you can even buy blank ones. You have to be good at writing and memorizing stuff. I think this one is really popular, but this, this is a really good looking one. I mean, there's so many choices, so it really depends on your taste. I think like a simple one like this one is, is great as well. And yet, in any case, um, I think if I'm purchasing <laughs> like the keycaps individually, I might get something like this, like some Japanese ones. I just like the minimalistic look of it, to be honest. And then maybe get like a few, like a space bar in a different color, like a pink or something. I don't know. So in any case, what I also like to do is I like to go on the mechanical keyboards subreddit. There's a few other ones too, but this one I like just looking at the build of different people, what they come up with. And it's also nice to get inspiration and uh, just look at different cool colorways and everything. So I really enjoy it. And there's also some nice memes, obviously. People like these special USB cables, which can be $30 on their own, but I don't know if that's necessary. This one is interesting as well, with a cool dog. This one is nice, I think. Yep. Okay. So if you're a total beginner, you might ask yourself, which one should you get? And I think one really popular choice is the N Pro 2, which is around 80 to $90. And it's a really good beginner keyboard. It has RGB. It's wireless, uh, but you can also use it with a wire. You can have it in black and in white. I like it in white a bit more. And in general, it's a very solid one. I think out of the box, there's a few different keycaps you can put in to make it a bit more interesting. But then again, you have to choose like which switches you, you got to pick. Right now, there's only the red switches avail available for me. And that's a great choice. But then again, there's another one. The Royal Clutch RK61 is actually cheaper and it's a great choice as well. And you can pick different 
Um, you can pick different keycaps because I don't really like those ones, but it's it's really affordable as you can see. Another great one is the Keymove Snow Fox, um, which is actually hot swappable, which means that you can change it to a different, let's say if you're in Europe, you can use the ISO format or something, you can swap around the different switches even, you can pull them out, which is something you can't generally do with other keyboards unless it's specifically set. So, so that's a great choice as well and really affordable as well. Then another really popular choice is the Ducky 1-2 Mini. Ducky is a South Korean company and it's very popular with, let's say, beginners in the sphere. It's not super cheap per se, but it's um, on like around $100 or $140 where I live. What's great about it is there is two different sizes when it comes to um, lifting it up here. I think it's a very solid build quality. It's plastic, obviously, but in general, uh, it's people just really like this one. But then again, you have to make the choice which switch you want to take. There's cherry black here, cherry blue, cherry red, brown, silent red, cherry MX silver and speed. So right now I think I, uh, I'm gonna prefer the silent red one to be honest. But yeah, there's obviously also a black colorway and it's a bit cheaper too. Then also um, what I can really recommend is the GMMK, so a glorious computer race or something. That's what the company is called there in the US and they make very solid affordable keyboards and they basically have a modular build here and you can select what you want to have and you can also have great wrist rests here you can they have their own switches too which are called panda i think and um it's 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 very affordable as well and and, and a great choice and they have something new actually which is a 75 percent keyboard which i already pre-ordered i have to admit uh, it's this one it's called gmmk pro and the cool thing is that it's it's i think it looks very high quality it has a knob that you can program here for the audio volume let's say there's like a really nice light on the side um yeah it's not this super small layout but it's this type of layout it's called gasket mount they call they call it apparently it's more premium and it's an aluminium case which in general is a bit more premium so i picked the white eyes to be honest but the black slate looks amazing as well i prepaid like 70 dollars but it's gonna be around 170 dollars so then you gotta consider there's the switches you have to pay in addition plus you have to pay the keycaps in addition so in total it's gonna be i don't know 250 dollars maybe but that's something i purchased for myself so I kind of already know what I'm getting, but I might get um, a ducky as well, just uh, right now. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting this one and I'm excited. I might also get like a wooden um, wrist rest as well from the same company. So let's see, I hope I like it. Okay, I think I figured it out. Unfortunately, the keycaps are not in the same order as the switches so i have to do some detective work apparently so let's see i think i'm gonna start with the first row here and i'm gonna try to find the right ones the right switches so to say all right here it is so we have 72 different switches that you can put into your mechanical keyboard so I'm really looking forward to putting these things on. It might be a bit confusing to know exactly where these go. I hope that this is correct like this because it's not perfectly correct. So um, let's start up here maybe. All right. So that's that. I'm just going to put the first row out. All right, let's see if I can find the right spots in here. So cherry brown, this must be this guy. Cherry brown is here. Yep, 
Cherry Black is here. Cherry Green is here. Oh, that's pretty quick. Cherry Clear, I believe, is here. Catron SMD Yellow, I believe, is here. That's pretty nice. Catron SMD Blue, I believe, is here. I'm sorry. Oh, that's very clicky. And Novel Keys Cream, I think, is here. Cherry blue is up here, I believe. Very quick. Cherry red, this one is popular, is here. Cherry white, I believe, is here. Cherry tactile gray is up here, I believe. Oh, that's Gatron green, I believe, is here. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't really fit. So once again, Gatron green. Very clicky. All right, let's move on to the second. Gatron Black, I believe that's here. Gotta be careful. Gatron Brown is here. Zelios, 62 grams, is here. Gatron SMD Brown is down here, if I'm not mistaken, so... Mm -hmm. Gatron SMD Black is down here. I did make a mistake. I'm sorry. Alright, boom. Gatron SMD Blue is down here, I believe. Gatron SMD Red, Gatron Red, Alias 60 grams, Not sure. Gatron Clear, I believe, is here, Gatron SMD Clear, I believe, is here. This one is incorrect to them. All right. This is the SMD row. Gatron yellow. Let's see. Alia 60 grams is probably here. Let's 
try the black ones. That's cherry black. figure out what the difference is between the SMD ones and the milk ones, so let me try it out. So it feels like the SMD is a bit harder to press down. It's low profile, it almost seems. And the milk one seems to be a bit, I guess, less dampened, a bit more solid. It's a bit of a lighter, brighter, higher tone than the normal one, right? But okay, let's continue. Let's continue with the next row. I'm having a lot of fun, by the way. I had wanted to open this for a while now, and this is amazing. So, let's go, let's see. Okay, Zelios, very RGB red, okay, that's cool. So I think these ones are the Kali ones, Kali box ones. They do look different if you can see the um, different small things sticking out of these switches. I'm sure there's a name for it. And um, these are the Kali ones. They do feel quite... I like the build. They do feel quite solid and uh, stable, I think. Kali box white. And 
very clicky, interesting. Kali box red. I like this one. Kali box burnt orange. Never heard of this one. So, Kali box brown. Kali box dark yellow. Yep. I like this one. Okay, and here we have the Alias 100 grams. Kali box pale blue. Oh, that's quick. But I like the stability, they're a bit more stable than the other brands. That's what I like about the Kali ones because they do look different. And then finally, we have the Zelios 78 grams. Cherry RGB browns. I think they should go here. We have the cherry RGB blacks. Should go here. That's great. All right, let's go. Let's move on to the next row. RGB blue. It's just a higher profile, or did I not push it down enough? I'm not sure. Speed bronze, speed copper, speed gold. That's gold for sure. This one, the silent black. Gatron, silent red. Gatron, silent brown. Kali Box Royale, I think that's the one. Hmm. Kali Box Navy. Kali Box Jade. Violet 
cherry, silent black. I think that's down here, for sure. Pretty satisfying. Cherry, silent red, one of my favorites ever. Cherry, hako, clear. I think that's here. And then we have the Kali Pro Burgundy. I think that's here. No, it's actually Kale. Kale Pro, sorry. Cherry, Speed Silver. Telios. the pro purple then we have the pro green then we have the telios then we have the I actually made a mistake here unfortunately have to correct it now. Should have been more careful. This is Cherry Speed Silver. Nice. This is Kale Hako Clear, Hako Clear. This is Kale Hako Royal Clear. Okay, now that I have them all installed, I want to find out which one is the right for me. And I want to find out the differences because to me, it isn't so obvious what they are. Is there a best brand? I don't know for sure. So let's see. Let's start with the black ones because there's so many different ones. Cherry black. Gatron black. Gatron SMD Black Gatron Milk Black Kale Box Black Cherry RGB Black Gatron Silent Black Cherry Silent Black So, I mean, it's obvious that the silent ones are different. I feel that in general, these are pretty hard to push down. They don't make a very strong noise, click noise, which I like. I think the kale box are pretty stable and sturdy, which I like. And the other ones, the Gatron, are a bit more wobbly here. I think the SMDs are like a low profile or something. And the milk one is a bit higher for some reason. Maybe it's just not clicked on correctly. I'm not sure if it's not all the way down, but yeah, I think it really wasn't all the way down. see the differences. So the Gatron is a bit higher from the tone than the Cherry. The Gatron Milk one is even higher than the Gatron Black. Gatron Milk Black, Gatron Black. SMD black is 
also a bit higher. Gatron SMD Black sounds pretty similar to Kyle Box Black. Okay, so if I had to pick a favorite among the blacks, among the non-silent ones, I would probably pick Kale Box because it just feels pretty sturdy. It's a pretty good feeling. There's no wobble. At the same time, I'm not sure if black is the right choice for me, to be really honest here. I gotta say, I like both the Cherry and the Gatron Silent Black. The Cherry Silent Black has a bit of a squeaky tone. And the Silent Black of Gatron seems to be a bit more stable, but both are quite similar, so... So yeah, that's the black ones. Now the red ones. Cherry Red, Gatron Red, Gatron SMD Red, Gatron Milk Red, Kyle Box Red, Cherry RGB Red, Gatron Silent Red, Cherry Silent Red. Again, the Cherry Silent Red is a bit squeaky. The Silent Red is a bit less squeaky. Both are pretty similar. They're just pretty easy to click down, so they have a lot of... It's just very quickly, but sometimes you might by accident click it, right? That's the disadvantage, obviously. But at the same time, I feel like this one is excellent for gaming. I will probably be annoyed by this noise all the time. This one, the SMD Red, while typing, so I think I'm going to go for a silent one. And I like that the red ones are a bit easier to push down. Maybe a bit too easy to push down when you're typing, but the black ones to me are too hard to push down for typing. Okay, let's go with the brown ones. Cherry brown, Gatron brown, Gatron SMD Brown, Milk Brown, Gatron, Kale Box Brown, Cherry RGB Brown, Gatron Silent Brown, and then here it doesn't really belong in this Cherry Speed Silver. So this one is pretty easy to push down. So brown ones I already kind of know it's a different tone the cherry ones and the gate run ones this one is more this one is a bit more muffled I like the silent brown again due to obvious reasons. Yeah. Okay, let's go with blue. Cherry blue. Gatron blue. Gatron SMD blue. Gatron milk blue. Kyle box white. Cherry RGB blue. Kyle box royal. Kyle box pro. Kyle pro burgundy. To be honest, the blue ones are too clicky for me. It's kind of satisfying, but it's not really what I'm going for. This one is too clicky too, but a bit more muffled, which I like. This one is very clicky, almost like it's a mistake. This one is very hard to push down, the Kyle Box Royal. The Kyle Pro Burgundy is the best one for me personally. It's quite similar to a Kyle Box Red, for instance. Pretty easy to push down, a bit more difficult to push down than the reds. Okay, let's go with this one. Cherry Clear, Gatron Clear, Gatron SMD Clear, Gatron Milk Clear, Kyle Box Dark Yellow, Cherry RGB Silver, Kyle Box Navy, Kyle Pro Purple. 
So again, very, very clicky. These ones are pretty hard to push down actually. I mean, cherry especially, cherry clear is much harder to push down than Gatron clear for some reason. I mean, Gatron clear is pretty easy to push down. It's almost easier than, than the red ones, I feel like. Cherry white, Gatron yellow, Gatron SMD yellow, Gatron milk yellow, Kale box burnt orange, Kale speed copper, Kale box jade, Kale pro green. Okay, now this row. Cherry green, Gatron green, Gatron SMT green, Gatron milk green, Kale box pale blue. Kale Speed Gold, Kale Hako True, Tilios 67 gram. Interesting. Those are too clicky for me, the green ones, to be honest. Pretty easy to push down. I mean, the blues are a bit easier to push down than the green ones. I think from these ones, this one is very difficult to push down, but not clicky. I like the kind of muffled click here. I think that's pretty satisfying. Okay, let's go this one. Cherry tactile gray, pretty hard to push down. Alia, 60 grams, 70 grams, 80 grams, 100 grams. This one is harder to push down than this one. I like the 70 and 80 grams, to be honest. This one is pretty satisfying. Then there's Kale Speed Bronze. Very easy to push down, probably, but not perfect for typing, probably better for gaming. Kale Hako Violet. Kale Hako Royal Clear. Novel Key Screen. Zelios 62 gram. Zelios 65 gram. Zelios 67 gram. Zelio 78 gram, Kale Speed Silver, Kale Hako Clear, KBDFans.com. Okay, again. Cherry RGB blue, 
cherry white. which I didn't expect, for instance, for instance, Alias 80 grams, or Alias 70 grams, or Zilios 67 grams. I like it a lot, they're pretty nice. I like the Cherry Clear, or actually the Gatron Clear. Very easy to push down. Not too clicky, but not completely muffled. It's really hard to know. Then Speed Silver, a bit harder to push down. Also an excellent one and also a silent one. I kind of like these ones. The burgundy. I mean the yellow ones are it's pretty hard to know. I think they have a different sound but they're pretty similar to the red ones. I gotta say from the stability I like the kale box once quite a bit so
very clear. And the middle clear is very easy to push down, maybe too easy. I gotta say I like the yellow ones too, a bit harder to push down, but very stable and cool as well. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.